Hello, and welcome to Spilling the Milk, the podcast where we talk about breastfeeding. You know, the thing that moms have been doing since the beginning of time, and yet it's still not really talked about as much as it needs to be. We're here to fix that. Today, my guest is Adrienne Fear. She is an international board certified lactation consultant and owner of Huron River Lactation in Milford, Michigan. It was so great to talk to her. She is a wealth of knowledge. I would like to refer to her as the Mary Poppins of lactation consulting because during our interview, she just kept pulling out her bag and like pulling out new goodies that you you didn't know what was going to come out of the bag next. And I honestly learned quite a bit. It keeps me humble. As much as I learn about breastfeeding, as much as I've done it myself, as much as I've talked to other people, there's always more to learn, more experiences to share. And so I'm so glad we got to talk. And since she's local to me, I feel so good now that I can confidently refer moms who come to me looking for a lactation consultant to Adrian, and they can benefit from her services. Please enjoy my conversation with Adrian. Bringing up flat nipples. Okay, so that was my experience with my first one. It was just like a last ditch effort of the hospital lactation consultant was like, I don't know, you could like try a nipple shield. Yeah. And I was like, I've never heard of this before. My mom like went to CVS and bought one. And actually we did for the first week or two. Yeah. And then eventually he didn't need it anymore. But yeah. there was not much support around that. And then I've read some people are like, don't ever use it because it doesn't build your supply. And like, so yeah. I'm curious about your thoughts on that. So I use nipple shields a lot. Um, I have all this, they're sized. I don't know if you knew that. Nope. They come in various sizes and shapes and textures. Technically, we cannot use a nipple shield until your milk is transitioning. So mm. you cannot feed with colostrum on a nipple shield. Got it. So yep. most likely in the hospital, you should not be handed one unless you're there a really long time. It's kind mm-hmm. of like trying to suck like honey through those like teeny tiny coffee stirs. Like yeah. it doesn't work. That makes sense. Um, so usually I'm the one to hand them out at that point. Um, I do love nipple shields. They work. It is never a forever intervention. It's a stopgap. It's like a pair of crutches. And then we're taking it away. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's the difference between like getting going that first week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And not. And I was so thankful for it. Yeah. 